I confess. Father Josh Johnson, a Catholic priest in Louisiana, says he was born for a time like this. His father is a Protestant African-American policeman, while his mother is a white Catholic nurse. Still, he asserts he too has experienced mistreatment by cops, while understanding that not all police abuse their power. After the death of George Floyd sparked protests across the United States, he is happy to say he's also seen a boom in the willingness of Catholics to listen and educate themselves on bridging the gap between races. Since George Floyd's death, so many people have been open to hearing. They've been open to listening and learning something new about how they can be used by God to be a part of the solution, which I've never experienced in my priesthood, which has been so absolutely beautiful for me to be able to work with people from all over the nation, priests and, and, and bishops and religious and laity from all over the nation who are interested in learning more about how we can be used by God to, to bring about healing. He asserts this evil of racism is combated by future saints who are rising up to the challenge and going outside their comfort zone. Father Josh says there are ways Catholics can actively defend the entire body of Christ, which includes everyone. We need to first and foremost pray, then fast, then fast from our resource that we normally listen to, and then fast from speaking so that when we have our Bible studies with our brothers and sisters who are different from us, we can actually listen to them um, and hear them well. He explained that through listening, trust is built. Dividing walls are shattered and healing begins. Father Josh is proud to say he's felt supported by some in the church, but not all Catholics are as eager to have racial unity in the body of Christ. I've heard that message from uh, some people um, who, wear, who wear the collar. I've, I've heard the message from some Catholics who go to daily mass. Things are so much better today, Father Josh. So like, why don't you just settle for mediocrity? I'm like, no because God has called us for greatness. Only having been a priest for six years, he asserts racism is one theme he has and will continue speaking about until it is eliminated for good.